Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I am so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make nested file folder mini journal which you can use as a journal insert or a mini journal that stands alone. But first let's have our shout out to Carrie, Rosalind, Shelley, Julie, Gwyneth, Lenny, Carolyn, Paula, Lori, and Irene and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I have done some prepping. So what I've done is I have cut my file folders that we are going to stack together to make them nesting. The largest one is eight by five and a half. The next size is seven by four and a half. Then we have a six by four. And last but not least, we have a five by three. Now these are one-sided uh, cardstock that I have coffee dyed on the back. So I've got a print on one side and coffee dyed on the back. Now you can use double-sided if you want to use print on this side as well. That's great. You can do that too. So what I want to do is I want to fold these in half. So I have already inked around both sides and I have rounded the corners. So now I'm just going to fold these in half, just like this. I'll get this folded in half here. Okay, and I'm going to need to ink this as I fold it right here. And then I'm going to fold this one. All right. There we go. And another one. It folded in half and ink it just real quickly here. And one more. There we go. Now we have to decide what we want for the front. I really think I want this to be the front here. And then let's look. That was very pretty. So is this one. I think I want the darker, I think. We can always change our mind. And then of course with the bird's head, and then this one, and I think I want it to be this way. Yeah, I think I want mine to be like this. All right, next what I've done is let's go ahead and put this on next. I have punched out with my tab punch here. I have gone ahead and I've punched out using just scrapped scrap pieces of cardstock. And I have inked around the edge because I want to use the coffee dyed side. And I want to go ahead and place mine. Now I'm going to use uh, art glitter today because it really grabs a hold quickly and it should. Um, it should stay in place well. So I'm going to apply my glue here and I want to put this over to the left hand side and just place it right like that. I'm going to turn it over onto the other side and I'm going to place my other one, my other side of it. Now I know some of you are going to say, well you can punch those out so you don't have to do this. I don't know, this is just how I do it. So. Um, we can all do things a little differently and this is just happens to be how I do it. Now, what I want to do is I want to pay attention. I have this one here. I want to do my next one. I want to stagger it and I want to do it about right here. So you can see I'm stair stepping it. So that's why I've kept these together like this so that I can judge where the next one should go. And I want to just place it right there. And I'm just going to, once again, fold it over this way. And I'm going to attach my other side like this. All right, and we've got that one done. Now what I'd like to do, whoops, this one needs to be, oh, it's probably already stuck hold. <laughs> it, this art glitter glue, I mean to tell you, it sticks. Reminds me of um, 
hot glue <laughs> without the heat. Okay. Now, let's do the next one. Now, I do want to make sure that these stay in the right spot here the best I can. Move this down a little bit. Move this one down a little bit. Okay. Now, the next one, let's see. I think I'm going to maybe move it right over to the other side. Just mark, making it so that you can see these tabs very well, even though we have the file folder going to be stacked on top of each other. And I'm going to turn this and get it on here like this. All right, we've got that one on. Very nice. Now this last one I would like to place right here. And it looks like I need one more of these little tabs, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, we'll just continue on and I'll make one later for it. It'll be fine. All right, so now we look like this. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, that's cute already. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to place a rivet and put a dangle on my larger one. Actually, I think I'll wait and do that last. I have cut some papers here that will fit inside of each one of these. So this one's going to fit inside of here. And it looks like I need to maybe just make it a little bit smaller, just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off here. I'm going to cut a little bit off here. And I am going to go ahead and bring in my corner rounder. And I'm going to round my corners right here, just like that. And I'm going to stick this right inside of here. Super cute, right? So now we have a piece of paper inside the mini file folder. It fits perfectly. I'm going to set that over here on the side. I'm going to do the next one. And I thought I had enough for all of them. What happened to them all? Mm. Here, that's this one. This one surely isn't this one. Oh well, it's all good. We'll just trim it. I don't know. I thought I had gotten them already. It's okay. We'll just trim it and it will be fine. I'm just going to mark it because I'm taking off more than, than I thought I was going to have to take off. We'll trim that there and then we'll just barely trim this one. All right, we've got that one. And let's round the corners on this. So we're putting one piece of lined coffee dyed paper. At least I am. You could use regular coffee paper if you want. Or if you don't even coffee dye, you don't have to do that either. So, okay. So we've got that one in here. Set that aside. This one is going to go inside of this. I don't think I have to cut this one maybe at all. No, nope, I don't have to cut that one at all. So let's go ahead and just round those corners just a little bit. Now that's going to fit right inside of there. And then what I have for the big one is I have quite a few papers here. I have a book page. I have a blue printed lined paper. I have a kind of a speckly greeny color. Uh, coffee dyed paper. I have some coffee dyed tracing paper. I have some line paper here. I have two sheets of line paper. So actual, actuality, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six pages. So it's going to make it to be 12. I'm going to fold them right in half, just like this. Alrighty, and that's going to be our booklet here in the center. 
Okay, so I'm going to stack it. I put my finger inside the middle because this is where we're going to have to sew our all of this together. Okay, so I'm putting my finger here and I'm going to take my largest one that has my little piece of coffee dyed lined paper in it and I'm going to position it right here. I'm going to do my next one and I'm going to position it right here and my next one and these all have the little paper inside and I'm going to position it right here. Now let me look at it to see how we're looking. I think we look fantastic. Let's go ahead and let's get some uh, paper. Uh, I can't even think of what this is called. Paper clips. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just go blank. It's like, duh, I'm, I'm taping. I need to know what this is. Okay, let's get this all put on here like that. Okay, that's not bad. Now, you know my little trick, or maybe you don't. I'm going to put this right here. That's for decorating in just a moment. I usually use a, well, this is a scrap, but usually it's white. All right, so I mark the length of the piece that I need to sew in my journal, sew in my signature. I'm going to cut it to fit. This is, this is about one inch wide by the length of the item that you're sewing, hand sewing in. I'm folding this in half. Okay, so do you understand that this is the same length as that? I folded this, which is one inch across. I folded it in half. Now I'm folding this in and this in together, the two ends together, and I'm creasing. I'm folding this end and this end together, and I'm creasing. Okay, now I'm going to open it back up, and where the creases intersect, I am going to put a little dot. So I have a dot where all my little folds intersect. This is my guide. I'm going to place it inside here, just like this. I'm pushing it down because I really may want to make sure everything is really together. Pushing it down. And I have my little piece that came from packing material. I have my little pokey tool and I have my wax, my wax string here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure my string. I'm bringing back my piece and I'm going to measure it by saying one, two, three, and I'm just going to give me just a little bit more. So that's how I determine how long I cut my, um, whether it's string or wax cord or embroidery thread or whatever you choose to use, that's how I measure it. Just thread my needle here. My needle's ready to go. I'm going to bring in my pokey tool, my little piece of packing tape. I'm going to pull it kind of closed and I'm going to really make sure that this is pushed down well so that all the papers and everything are pushed down. All right, seems to be. I'm going to take my pokey tool and I'm going to poke all three of these holes by trying to keep my pokey tool straight up and down. And I'm making it come out this end. This, it, Can you see that right there? There, you can see it there. There you go. Have it come all the way out and do all three of the holes. And then one more here. Alrighty, so, so now I'm removing my guide and my lines are still, my little holes are still lined up. So now I'm going to take my um, needle <laughs> and I'm going to go into the middle hole first. 
and don't pull it all the way out. You're going to want to leave yourself a little bit of a tail right here. And then we're going to go in the next hole. We're going to come right on up. Oh, come on now. There we go. Now make sure it's not caught on anything. I'm going to take it. We're going to go through the other hole right here. All right. And pull it through. So now we look like this and we look like this. And now we're going to go right back through the middle hole. All right. Now this is where you see how this string is coming out on this side, on that side of the the string that goes across. I want this needle to be on the opposite side. So I'm going to have to lift this up and put the needle on the opposite side and pull it through. Because we need, just a minute here, get this through. We need, I need to make sure everything is pulled through. And make sure it's tight. It's very tight here. A little signature. We want a string to be on either side of the center string. Removing my needle, sticking it over here in my pin cushion. Oh, and it just went on the floor. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight and I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, so I'm pulling, tying my knot. Now I'm not going to put any dangles onto this one, so I'm actually just going to. I'm not even going to put a, a bow on it. I'm just going to trim it off. You can always put a bow. You could leave the dangles of the string so you can add some dangles to it if you want. You can always do that. That's an option. Just chose not to do that this time. So let's go ahead and let's close it. And I'm going to manipulate it just a little bit just so it really lays flat. Now let's look at it. So here's our first one. Oh my goodness, so cute. And our second one. And our third one. And then our fourth one with our journaling, lots of journaling pages in this one. Now there's all kinds of things that you can decorate this with, or you can even do it this way. You could decorate it going this way, and then you would just pull your papers down and write in it this way, or you could turn it this way. It, it's all up to you on how you want to do that. I'm not even sure how I want to do that, but I have got a few things to decorate just to give you an idea, but I do need to decide which way I want to do it so that I did want to put a dangle on the very last one. And I'm, I'm just not sure. I've got all kinds of little things to decorate here with. Let's uh, let's see here. Do I have something to go on here? I, I'm kind of liking it this way. I, and I guess it's because it's different. I just really like it this way. So I think I'm going to do mine this way. And I so that said, I think I'll put my my little rivet right here, right there. So let's go ahead and grab our little um, punch, and I'm just going to punch right here. There we go. So I've got a hole punch out on this tab right there. And I'm going to see, I might have to use a bigger hole punch, but I'm going to see. I was thinking I would like to do one of these, and I kind of like this red colored one, but I'm thinking I need a bigger hole punch. Yep, I'm going to have to use my bigger hole punch. That one's just not going to cut it, so let's go ahead and let's put a bigger hole in it. hope I don't regret that. The big, big hole. Is this going to fit in there or fall through? Nope, it should fit in there. Now I'm going to bring in my very old little punch, my rivet punch. I bought this at a thrift store, guys, and it's the only one 
that I can get to work. But this one, yeah, get to work. And there we have it, just like that. <laughs> okay, so then I have a little jewel and a tassel right here that I thought I could add to this little uh, file folder nested journal. There we go. Get this turned right so it will hang. Oh, come on now. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Actually, it doesn't hang very well, does it? it kind of hangs on the side. Hmm. How can I fix that? Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's go ahead and just add a few things onto here. I think we'll make it extremely simple and we'll put some, we'll put a label and some roses here on the uh, front. I think I'll put my label first. Now you can just decorate this to your heart's desire. You can decorate, uh, you can stamp the the pages that we added inside. You could stamp some. You can add a few little pieces of ephemera. You could decorate each and every, like you could decorate this as well if you wanted to. I just thought that we could just decorate the outside just a little bit here with the things I've collected. And let's see here, what do we want on this one? How about if we do something like well, we could add a a, um, a little umbrella. Now, do you see that when I fussy cut this, do you see the white that's still there? I just, I, I have the hardest time, especially like with that top of that umbrella. If I tried to get any closer, I wouldn't have anything left. So that's when I bring in my black Sharpie marker, the one with the chiseled edge. And I just, I'm going to lift this up so you can see, I actually just go like this and it just takes that right away. And so I still get my image and I can still have my point of my umbrella, but I don't have to see all that white. And I just think this works so well and it just takes a few minutes and there you go. And, and all the white has disappeared. And it's really, I think it's really wonderful. So I'd like to share that with you. I know I've shared it before, but I really like doing that. I think it makes my fussy cutting <laughs> look really good. <laughs> and I'm not that good at fussy cutting. So I'm just getting some glue on there. Do I want that? That's, oh, let's... Or do I want to, uh, or do I want this? I can't decide what I want, guys. Let's see here. Oh, let's just put this little label. I think that's a little better. That bow is a little something, a little something else right there. Okay, that's really cute. There we go. There's that. Now, the next one. What are we going to do on this one? How about if we add this beautiful... Uh, bird right here and maybe this really pretty blue label and I actually do I want it underneath yeah let's go ahead and let's add this very pretty blue bird and you're going to say where did you get this it's not blue it's it's pink what am I talking about I think it's a shabby dabby doo -dah. I think I I don't know exactly I mean I wouldn't like say for sure but I do think it's a shabby dabby doo -dah. All right, so let's, and the, so was the umbrella. That was a shabby dabby doo -dah as well. I think I'm going to put that on top, like that. Okay, so next, let's see what we have. We have this right here. How about a great big umbrella, maybe? Or maybe just some cluster of some flowers with a uh, 
with maybe a blue bow. Oh, why not? Let's do something different like that. So let's do a little bit of clustering up some, some roses. And let's, I'm going to set this over to the side like that. Like that. And then let's bring this over. I kind of ended up working clear over here. Okay, let's bring this back so I can reach it a little better. Maybe you can see it a little better. And let's put a uh, another one of these. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that these flowers are Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Pretty sure. And the labels are Tracy Fox. Yeah, that's where the labels came from. Tracy Fox. Now, let's see. Oh, uh, I guess we wanted that blue bow. Mm. Oh, maybe I want it up there. Maybe I want the pink one up there. Nope. How about the green one? Nope. How about the blue one? Yep. Okay. Let's do the blue one. And I'm going to put it down below because I really don't want it to be. <clears throat> All right. So we've got that. Now let's look at it. So we've got this one <clears throat> and our paper, and we've got our bird and our umbrella and our label. Now this label right here, now that's a Shabby Dabby Doo Dah label. And there's a paper, and then we've got that little piece and our paper, and this last one, and then all of this journaling paper that we can decorate, stamp on, work with, you can de decorate the back. You guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.